Ach, das Mike's Daily Podcast. Ep ep episode 1473 billion. 1584. 1584 today. 1584. And I'm Mike Matthews, broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont. Today, Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, the brewmaster, and a big storm is coming down. Mike's Daily Podcast. I should get to us soon. Because I drive to work so early, it always seems to rain on me. Mike's Daily Podcast. And then, when I'm at work, the rain stops. The... But then I start to do my show And then I'm podcasting And don't you know I am rhyming And I'm throwing all kinds of words And inflections And people go Oh Mike This is such an addiction Mike's Daily Podcast Thanks Hey I was thinking about a friend of mine today Who Mike's Does this Daily Video podcast Podcast where he and yeah. can we please stop with the video podcast where we start them off by going hey guys no 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 if you say hey guys your video must then self destruct self destruct that's my world in which I live look walked in it's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? It's a disgruntled fiddle player. Tell you what. What? Benita brought her horse, Nilly, today. Yay. Say hi, Nilly. <laughs> hi, Nilly. Horse walks into a bar. Best joke ever. Why the long face? The best joke ever. Ever constructed. He's a showboat. He's a grandstander. Oh, yeah. Back to the friend of mine. Who does a podcast where he videotapes. There's no such thing as videotape anymore, is there? I hope not. Oh, look who else walked in. Oh, Mike, I make the delicious root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. You have a wonderful voice. Thank you. And I don't care how other people make fun of you. I will flick them in the nose. And here's today's podcast picture. For your voice is truly wonderful and sparkly. Thanks, Mac. I like my voice. It's the one I have. Oh, boy. Because you're the brewmaster and you make the root beer. And that's a skill that not everyone has. Some people think they can, oh, do an impression of a voice. Uh Uh-oh. Did I just do the whole, eh. Hey, what happened was... Uh, oh my gosh, this is going to take forever to fix. Oh well. So, <laughs> hey, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, back to this. So this guy opens up packages on his podcast on the internet, and the funny thing is, he's like as old as me, and he does this, and he opens Star Wars packages, and. It just, I, you're, you're too old for doing that, man. And there are people way younger than you who have huge, bigger followings than you. They're young, and they open up packages, and that's cool. That's all right, because you're young and stupid, and you open stuff like that. But to do, I don't get it. Meanwhile, other people are outgrowing things like Facebook. Facebook stock is crashing. It's not doing so well. Drop the the. Just Facebook. And it's all because they were stupid with their security. With the security and with all the... Just not one bad decision, but several. They are becoming the Chipotle of the internet. Hey, speaking of Facebook, as I check it... All they are showing me is, oh, I have memories. And people are getting done. They're done with the memories. They don't want to look back. People are sharks. They want to keep going. By the way, it's the spring equinox. That means we are equally uh, day and night today. Day and night. Night and day under the sun. And I see a year ago, 
on Facebook, I posted a picture of me at Half Moon Bay. And I posted the worst selfie of myself ever. But, hey, you got to do that. You got to sometimes show yourself in the worst of light. Also, three years ago today, I got to see Kai Alfred Hillick, who's been on the show many times. One of the few musicians that I will still interview on my show. He performed underground at this disgusting little uh, thrift store type thing. Oh, this place was just... It was like a... Yeah, it was a thrift store and downstairs and it's in the middle of the tenderloin and homeless people were so just aggressively mean and annoying down there and we actually ate at a taqueria uh, and... Kai Alfred Hillig and I and I, oh, was it Paul Peter Peter uh, Jordan was the other musician. Anyway, cafe. Anyway, pa- Kai Alfred Hillig played underground, uh, literally underground. Anyway, at this thrift store, and he rocked it. There were all these millennials and younger, younger than millennials, Generation Zers walking in, going, "Ooh, what's this? Who's this guy?" That looks that he's dressed in his lumberjack shirt and performing and looking a little like Buddy Holly. Ooh, wee, ooh. And you look like Mary Tyler Moore. And there's nothing wrong with that. Welcome to Mike's Daily Podcast, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont. If you'd like to see the podcast picture today, which is of myself and the wonderful Basil the Boxer, you can do that. It's there at Mike's Daily <laughs> He and I were at Fairmont Ridge yesterday, and we had such a great time. I ran into Mark, who runs a a doggy daycare type thing, in a kennel, and very successful. And he gets a lot of business walking there at Fairmont Ridge, because it is a big dog park. It's an enormous expanse. It's not just a little dog park where they only have about a few feet to run. It's and 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 the ground is all dirt and and or one place I've been to it's all mulch. Yeah, that's not like disgusting and and what the hell? What's under that mulch? That's the big question. Yikes. Oh my my my. It's not good. Why? Why do you have mulch? Are you out of your mind? So, that place is uh Actually in Was it Oakland Actually Berkeley I think Not not good And it, it kind of has a nice view of the bay But Yeah Mulch not the best Now the podcast Valley Dog Park Has just dirt And it gets very muddy when it rains It'll be muddy later today I bet But at least that's better So this guy I know Who possibly is listening to the podcast I don't know Maybe right now But he has like a doggy daycare type thing and, and a kennel and and that's a great place to walk and there's the picture, Basil and I at this particular place. Very nice. He smiled for the camera, but looked away at the last second. <clears throat> As dogs do. They always do that. Why would you film yourself opening a package? I don't get it. Look, it's the new Star Wars. Look, it's a stormtrooper. I'm opening up the package now. Oh, my God. Look what's in here. It's a stormtrooper. I'm so excited. You can't handle the truth. It's just ridiculous. Okay. On to other things. Important things. Like Chick-fil-A. The wonderful people at Chick-fil-A held on to change. Because they're wonderful. And kill chickens. And that's what's... Chick-fil-A, a Chick-fil-A cashier in Lubbock, Texas, is being lauded for his act of kindness that took nearly a month to complete. Marcus Henderson, a cashier at the fast food chain, took customer Danny Kadra's order at the drive through window. After Kadra received his food, he left, forgetting his $3 in change behind. A whole $3 in today's world... <laughs> Every penny counts. Instead of simply putting the money back in the register, Marcus Henderson, who said Kadra was a regular, put the money aside. I suppose 
I'm supposed to keep this and give it back to him. I knew he was a regular. I was going to see him again eventually. Quote, unquote. I'm as stupid as a stupid does. For the next few weeks, Henderson brought the money in an envelope to work every day. It was basically a part of my uniform. It was my name tag, my hat, my apron, and I just put it in my back pocket. Just in case today might be the day where I seize them. Eventually, the day to return the change to its rightful owner came. And it caught Kadra, 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 Danny Kadra, completely off guard. Henderson says, a while back, you left your change here. And I'm like, my change? What you mean? And he said, you drove off without your change. And I said, are you serious, man? What are you doing? I look in there. There's my change. This is, I swear to you, Fox News. This is a Fox News article, as you can plainly see. Yes, today is the spring equinox, and money is coming back to you because you left it behind, I guess. What's the most livable city? Vienna. Oh, Vienna! That's Ultravox. Midjur. I saw him in concert. He opened for Howard Jones at the Santa Barbara Bow back in 1990, and I quite enjoyed that show. People go... When they think of the 90s alternative, they think of grunge. But don't forget, there were others. There was R.E.M. I am a splinter. I'm the real thing. Crushed eyeliner. No? Some, I'm noticing a lot of people don't remember that song. That is a weird video. That was the monster album. It was a monster of an album. That also had social distortion playing. On. And this was a huge one. You've heard this one. Oh, and Bang and Blame. Love the bass on that. Boom, boom, boom. That was the same album. And then, uh, oh. Currency. What was that one? Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know what you mean to me. Yeah, that one. I can't play the rest of it. I'll get dinged. Yes, Michael Stipe, my bald brother from another mother. Hey, let's wrap up the show as we go outside a cafe anyway. We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley where I have a little bit of work to do. You're not going to notice it once it goes on to the internet because I'll have fixed it. But yeah, I got some work to do. And the House GOP leaders are starting to come out in strong support of a special sec- a second special counsel to investigate conservative allegations of bias and abuse at the FBI. Majority Whip Steve Scalise of Louisiana, a Republican, said on Monday he backs the appointment of another special counsel to look at how law enforcement has handled the Russian probe. Hmm. The move aligns the number two and three House GOP leader with President Trump, who could be a factor in a future leadership race between the two friendly rivals. Neither Scalise nor McCarthy, Kevin McCarthy, uh, uh, wants to... I've lost my place. Oh, wants any daylight between themselves and Trump in the event... But the, the, uh, whatever. I have more political shenanigans. Next show, it's going to be the wonderful Madame Ruta Vega Valentino Bison Bentley. Thanks for listening. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast 
at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.